Destin is a great choice for a fun, exciting vacation. You and your family will love it. Most Destin visitors come here for the beach. The gorgeous white sand competes with those at other Florida destinations farther south. However, if you stay on the beach, you'll miss out on the other attractions. Museums, boat tours, beaches and all the great Destin attractions you won't want to miss. Here it is our list of 10 best things to do in Destin, Florida. Number 10. Destin History and Fishing Museum To learn how this quaint seaside city came to be, make a trip to the Destin History and Fishing Museum. Visitors will learn about the city's beginnings and its native inhabitants, its roots in the fishing industry and its journey to becoming an official city in 1984. There are exhibits that explain the science behind the stark white sand on the Destin beaches as well as the vast array of fish in the ocean. The museum uses artifacts, film, photographs and other media to showcase information. Previous visitors appreciated the museum's knowledgeable staff members, many of whom have lived in Destin for years and know the ins and outs of the area. Although the museum is small, travelers feel the size adds to the quaint, family-friendly atmosphere. There are scavenger hunt activities for children as well as guided tour options for adults. Number 9. Gator Beach Gator Beach is an ideal activity for families visiting Destin, according to recent visitors. Previous patrons said the staff is engaging and gives special attention to each visitor. The park is home to hundreds of alligators of all ages, and some measure up to 6 feet in length. The Alligator Park hosts gator shows at noon, and 2, 4 and 6 p.m. daily where viewers can learn more about the animals. For an extra special educational experience, purchase VIP experience tickets to get the chance to help open the park and care for the animals. Gator Beach is free to enter, but the activities cost money. For example, feeding the gators costs $4 while taking a photo with an alligator costs $10. The attraction is part of Fudpucker's Beach Sidebar and Grill and opens when the restaurant does and closes around 8 p.m. on-site parking is available. Keep in mind, gator shows might not be running in the case of inclement weather. Number 8. Destin Fishing Staying true to its reputation as the world's luckiest fishing village, Destin hosts a wide variety of sea creatures meaning anglers have plenty of hot spots from which to cast off. Test your luck at any one of the city's jettas, beaches, seven piers or the Destin Bridge, where local fishermen often catch pompano, channel bass, bluefish, king mackerel and flounder, among other varieties. Diehard anglers should plan an October trip to see or participate in the Destin Fishing Rodeo, where contestants compete for the most impressive catch of the day. If you're new to the sport and want assistance from a knowledgeable local, book one of the city's best fishing charters. And if simply eating Destin's tasty sea dwellers is more your style, you can nosh on local seafood at the annual Destin Seafood Festival, also in October. If you'd like to eat your own catch but don't have access to a kitchen, several local restaurants will cook your clean fish for you. Prepare it any way you like it and serve it with your favorite sides. Check with the Visitors Bureau for a list of participating restaurants. Should you want to test your skills on open waters, Destin Harbor also plays host to a variety of vessels for deep sea, inshore and bottom fishing. Number 7. Destin Golf Courses Much like its Floridian neighbors, Destin and Fort Walton Beach are home to a variety of scenic golf courses. You'll find four championship golf courses and country clubs in Destin alone, and eight total in the Emerald Coast region, meaning you won't have to venture far to perfect your swing. Kelly Plantation Golf Club, which is set along the Choctahatchee Bay, is praised by both visitors and locals. Constructed on the former site of a turpentine plantation, the 18-hole course features miles of waterfront, bayous and magnolia and palmetto trees. Emerald Bay, which is set within the gated community of the same name, is another favorite for its Choctahatchee Bay views. Other must-play courses, according to recent visitors, are Regatta Bay and Sandiston. Visit the golf course's individual websites for more information on green fees, location and more. Number 6. Big Kahuna's Water and Adventure Park Big Kahuna's is pricey for a park of its size, but it's also one of Destin's best spots to take the family when you need a break from the beach. The water park is open from mid-May through August and features more than 40 attractions, 
including slides, water rides, and the Honolulu halfpipe with a wave simulator. You can also float through the park along its lazy river. And between September and early May, when the water rides are closed, you can still enjoy Big Kahuna's Adventure Park, which is home to a mini golf course and other thrill rides. Big Kahuna's is open from 2 to 9 p.m. every day from March to Labor Day. On Fridays, the park opens early at 12 p.m. On weekends, hours are from 12 p.m. until 10 p.m. Number 5. Crab Island Crab Island is less of an island and more of an underwater sandbar, and its surrounding crystal clear water attract boaters and ocean lovers from all over the area. People flock to this destination to relax on their boats or to socialize in the shallow water. Although it's known for its party atmosphere, recent visitors said Crab Island is also fun for families, and note there is plenty of room for everyone to find their own space in the water. A Crab Island adventure tour, complete with inflatable water slides and other water toys, can be a fun, family-friendly way to see the area. Previous visitors recommended bringing floats to use in the water and visiting at high tide for the best experience. They also suggest bringing coolers of food and drinks. Keep in mind that while you can bring alcoholic drinks, there will be nowhere to buy these types of beverages once you reach Crab Island. Note that this popular sandbar area is only accessible by boat due to strong currents. Number 4. Destin Harbor Boardwalk The boardwalk, which stretches about a quarter mile along the waterfront, is a great free activity that can keep visitors entertained for hours. Travelers can enjoy unparalleled views of the harbor ships and spend time watching them sail in and out of the area. There are plenty of shops and restaurants to check out along the boardwalk as well. Past visitors described the boardwalk's venues as enjoyable but touristy. When the sun sets, the fun continues at the boardwalk bars and restaurants where there's often live entertainment. While there are nightlife options here, visitors said the boardwalk still retains a family-friendly atmosphere. If a relaxing stroll on the boardwalk is too calm of an activity for you, consider something more exciting. From the boardwalk, you can embark on a number of different adventures. There are places to rent kayaks and paddleboards, as well as stands selling parasailing and jet skiing excursions. Number 3. Gulfaria Marine Adventure Park If you don't happen to spot any dolphins in the wild, or just want to learn more about some of Florida's marine creatures, you may want to pay a visit to the Gulfaria Marine Adventure Park. Though it does feature daily dolphin and sea lion shows, the Gulfarium is no sea world. But even with its small size, the park is still a hit with travelers, especially those visiting with children. When you're not watching dolphins jump through the air, you can learn more about the gators, reptiles, penguins, sea lions, and stingrays that call the park home. You can even interact with the dolphins and snorkel with the stingrays, if you're willing to hand over a bit more coin for one of the park's animal encounters. Recent visitors recommended spending a few hours here if you're interested in learning more about Florida's marine life. Travelers found the staff to be extremely knowledgeable and friendly. The park is open from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. daily with final admission at 4.30 p.m. Number 2. Destin Dolphin Cruises When visiting this seaside city, you would be remiss to spend your entire trip on land. Luckily there is no shortage of boat tour options in Destin, and many are specifically dedicated to finding dolphins in their natural habitat. Catching sight of these playful sea creatures will surely delight the whole family and add a bit of excitement to your Florida vacation. Some previous visitors recommended IJ's Water Adventures which, in addition to dolphin cruises, offer sailing and snorkeling adventures. Those who booked the dolphin tour appreciated the knowledgeable guides and affordable prices. And, best of all, they were amazed at the many dolphins they saw in the water. Other travelers enjoyed Southern Star Dolphin Cruises, which leaves from Harbor Walk Village and offers Ecotour Dolphin Cruises as well as Sunset Dolphin Cruises. Tours are narrated and take place on glass-bottom boats with convenient facilities and vendors. Visitors raved about the crew who put in effort to make sure every passenger witnessed the animal spectacle. Number 1. Henderson Beach State Park Perhaps the biggest draw to Henderson Beach State Park, aside from its relaxed atmosphere, is the sugar-white sand of the mile-long beach, made up of pure Appalachian quartz. The sand not only remains cool in the summer sun, but it gives the pristine waters an emerald cast. Offering a welcome change of pace from the crowded and hotel-backed beaches closer to the resorts, this easily accessible and clean oasis offers nature trails, spots for grilling and picnicking, 
and campsites. Recent visitors loved the area's peaceful atmosphere and highly recommended travelers make a stop here. The park rangers and staff also received accolades for their helpful tips and vast knowledge of the area. Admission fees range from $2 to $6 depending on your mode of transportation.